Bobo Gump! <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to episode 4 of the Minecraft Showdown Game Show. Today we have our two winners coming back head to head in an intense semi-finals, not quite elimination game, but the loser has to go and play Ashley Marie Gaming while the winner advances to the championship game. We have a huge audience here today. Can, can we just get a, a, pan, a pan of everyone? Oh, oh, oh wait, wait, it's, there's no one here, there's no one here. Well, we can change the next episode if you would like to come and watch the showdown. Oh, go, Pondy! Go! <laughs> hey, get out of the stands. You're a contestant. Shh, don't worry. <laughs> I'm just a crazy fangirl. Okay, so if you would like to be in the stands next episode, you can buy a ticket. Tickets are only $1, and we will only be accepting the first 100 people. So you can buy a ticket for $1, and you will get to see Beep Bob Vox go head-to-head -head with Caveman Films. It'll be tomorrow, Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. If you'd like to Wait, buy... Wait, am I supposed to go down now? No, no, you're not going to come down until I tell you to come down. Okay, so if you'd like to buy tickets, link's in the description. You can also buy a VIP season pass where you get to sit in some special seats so you're not in the huge crowd of 100 people, and you'll get to be in a crowd of a lot less people. That's only $15. So if you'd like to buy tickets to the next show, link's in the description. So on our red team coming in, who last beat Ashley Marie Gaming, we have Bodil Forty. Just kidding. I He's on the blue Jack. team. <laughs> He's on the blue team. Okay, Why? I can be red. No, so I'm switching. Why is everyone switching oh, teams? I, I, okay, I'm blue. Okay. Uh, okay. Bodil 40 please come down here, sir. Hello. Who, what is your name? My name is Martin. You asked me last time. Yeah. And what do you have to say about your competitor? Bubble gum! No, wait, this was last time. Who's my competitor? I don't even know him. And our competitor on the it's red Steve. team. Um, he has only one eyebrow. You, you're supposed to go down that. I'm LJ so. Hunt. Come on, Steve. Here come. <laughs> so we have MLG on Steve. How are you feeling about this? Pretty good. I, I, I what? Do you have anything to say about your opponent, Bodil Forty? He's a pretty good guy. Okay. Well, on that note, let's get started with the games. So, if you're new to this series, how the game works is basically we have a whole bunch of item frames here. There will be six items in these item frames. And one of them will be a sponge. The sponge is an automatic half point. You can put it anywhere in your answer and you'll get uh, one and a half point. So a question, for example, would be like, hey, don't break, don't, you can't just change the team. Okay, okay, uh, okay. With the pink team. <laughs> okay, so for example, hey, if, we put, if we put five Yay. food items in here, <laughs> and I will say, put the five food items in order from which heals you the most and which heals you the least. You have to put them in your item frames in correct order. You'll pretty much see how the game works once we get into it. So, are you two ready to start the fourth episode of the showdown? More than ready. I'm ready. Okay, so the first question is, all of these mobs on the board can drop a different amount of regular items and rare items. So please put them in order from which can drop the most items total. So like, for example, a skeleton would be able to drop a bone, a bow in some cases, and some arrows. So that's three total. And it can also drop some other things. So put them in order from which can drop the most total to the least amount total. Wow, I'm so screwed. What is the... Yeah, me I don't even so, so fly up here and uh, use your pick key, which is the middle mouse key, and it'll God. put it in your inventory. No, don't right click. No, what are you doing? You know, you know your middle mouse key. Okay. Come on, Steven, just like last week. Yeah, yeah, you've, just... you've been in the show once already. How do you not know this? That's true. <laughs> I don't know. And the sponge is a wild card. If you want to use a sponge, you get automatic now, one half left point. Left is what? Left is the most possible drops from a mob. Okay, Modal, I hate to yeah. scrutinize your strategy, but oh. why would you put your sponge in the 2.1 when it's only worth half a point? I, I don't want two points. I want one point. Actually, okay. can the sponge give me 1.60? Oh, no, excuse me, 0 0.69 points. I don't think it's possible to get that many points in this game. God damn it. No, 0 0.69. What's up with that? Okay, well, it looks like both both people have put in their answers. So, Dr. Jordy, can we see the correct answer, please? Come on! Yes! Oh, my God. No! <laughs> yes! Oh! oh! 
Why you have one? <laughs> okay, so the correct answer was witch, zombie, skeleton, blaze, and squid. Ooh. A witch can drop up to 11 items. A zombie can drop up to 8 items. A skeleton can drop up to 4 items. A blaze can drop up to 2 items. And a squid can only drop 1 item. So, looking at the scores, it looks like, Steve, you got 5, 8, 9 points. While Bodil only got... Oh, I'm dead. I died. How did I die? I'm the game show host. And it looks like Bodil, on the other hand, only got three and a half points. So the score is nine to three and a half after one round. Okay, guys, so question number two. All of these food items... My chair is not comfy. I need a new chair. You don't even have a chair. You have to stand up for this game show. Who made that? Who made that? This thing? Get my ass! Okay, that? so all of these food items were added in a different update. Please put them in order from oldest to newest. Woo! Ooh. Okay, oh my god. Oldest on the left, right? Oldest is on the left. That is very correct, young Steve. Thank you. Wow, good. These are uh, all seemingly very old, honestly. Uh -huh. Remember, you have your sponge, which is an automatic half point. It's only been used, I think, three times in the history of the showdown. Yeah. Yeah, there we like. go. Bodo 40 is going to choose to use his wild card. So oldest yeah. on the left again, right? Yes, oldest what is on the I left. Change, what if I change it just to throw you because you said I'm going to use it? Well, what if I, I don't? That I I would be speechless. Okay. There we go. Oh, don't you dare okay. copy me. I'm just uh probably wrong. Uh wait, my my keyboard is not responding. <laughs> I have to screenshot, screenshot. Okay, wait, my computer, I'm just how did you... Okay, I don't think you're right, Steven. I'm really sorry. I think the there cookies we... came out later. I don't know. Cookies. Cookies been forever. You couldn't craft them. Okay, Dr. Jordy, can we see the correct answer, please? Diamonds are forever, Kanye West. Did you oh! just kill an item frame? Stop! <laughs> and the correct I... answer is on the board. So, apples were added in oh, .31 infdev, which is very old. Fishes were added in 1.2 alpha. Cake was added in 1.2 beta. Uh, cookies were added in 1.4 beta, while mushroom stew wasn't added until 1.6 beta. So looking at the score, it looks like both players only managed to get five points this round. And the final question, question number three, the hardest question ever to be shown on the showdown. All of the blocks you see have been added in different updates barely, so please put them in order from the oldest block to the newest block. The sponge is not a block, it is once again just a wild card. Good luck. These are very old items. And Where is the item? This seems almost they're impossible. They're in the same place they've been. Oh god, I just took a chiseled quartz block. Good work, Steve. Oh. Don't Thank litter you. on my stage. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Okay, <laughs> okay so oldest is in the first. Oldest is on the left. Newest. Oh, uh, that's so hard. That's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> that is so hard. Is it yet? <laughs> okay, it's... wait. So. No, no. Uh... Okay, so both of your answers have been put on the board. So, Dr. Jordy, can we see the answers, please? Yeah! God damn it. God damn it. Yes! <laughs> no, yes! you got <laughs> So it looks like <laughs> both players got well. Bodil forty got five points this round, or six points this round, while Steve has acquired five, six, seven, eight points this round. Let's so, freaking do! So I, I knew you were giving. So the points. final score <laughs> is fourteen point five to I believe twenty two. Either way, Steve is in the lead going into the bow finale. Hello and welcome to the Bow Arena, which is actually only about 60 blocks away from the main stage. Hey, no TNT. That is against the rules. But anyways, uh, quickly before we begin, the bracket is going to flash on your board. This is before the game began. This is the current bracket. So as you can see, the winner of this game moves on to the championship game while the loser has to go back and play Ashley Marie Gaming. And the winner of that game will play the winner of this game. So I'm so afraid of Ashley. Then you better win. So how this is going to work <laughs> is Steve wins. The game is over and Steve is victorious and goes to the first championship game ever of the showdown. And if Bodil wins... Then we go back to a sudden death question. Are you two ready to begin? I'm yeah. ready! Three, two, one, fight! Oh, oh and Bodum is the first shot. Oh, no. Steve gets hit! No, 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 oh, Steve is trying to hey, get no, away. I love you. I love you. 
Oh, I love oh, you. Oh, love oh, Bodo gets it. Bodo oh, gets it. Oh, both players are weak. Bodo, both players are weak. You, They're both taking really short shots. Oh, Steve gets hit twice. Why is it so late? <laughs> Steve yeah. is blaming the lag. Bodo, oh, this is very close. Oh, oh Bodo, is one, <laughs> Bodo is one away from dying. Bodo is one away from dying. What is going to happen? Oh, Bodo oh has God. taken another. Oh, Steve wins. Steve goes to the championship oh game. The. <laughs> Steve goes to the championship game while Bodil 40 must go and play Ashley Marie Gaming in the next episode. And we have fireworks going for the red team. This is just fabulous. Bodil 40, how does it feel to lose the first ever semifinal game of the showdown? Well, I, I got my award behind me. I'm oh. facing Ashley next time. <laughs> you are and facing I, Ashley. Like, it was, no, 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 it was a setup. He hooked you up with that cool studio. It can be, you, he knew the question. Speaking of this new studio, it was built by a person uh, in the description. If you'd like to check out their channel, they're great builders. And shout out to them. So check Gazamo. out the channel in the description. Gazamo, yes, Gazamo. Okay, anything else you'd like to say, Bodil? Yeah, I'm really scared of facing Ashley last time. next time. Please don't. Well, good luck to you, sir. <laughs> Steve, MLG Hunt, how does it feel to be the first person to make it all the way to the championship round in the showdown? Well, Chip, there's a lot of conditioning involved. <laughs> Is that I it? Get one of these two. <laughs> what happened? Oh my god, he looks mad. <laughs> he always looks mad. <laughs> <laughs> So that's gonna do it for this episode of the show. And if you'd like to buy tickets and come watch Bebop Box play live against Bebop Caveman Bebop. Films, tickets are in the description, one dollar each. The server IP will also be included. So thank you guys for watching this episode of the show. And if you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. That is always stay sexy. Bye.